Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Did you get me up? Did you have to go potty? If you guys haven't watched the last couple of vlogs, Ace, yes, he's wearing underwear because he's still recovering from his surgery. His stitches actually look really good, so I think we've done a good job with him not licking at him and um, chewing at him and all that stuff. So hopefully just a few more days of wearing underwear. It says anywhere from seven, I've read seven days, 10 days, 14 days. So, and he has stitches that dissolve, so. We don't even have to go back into the vet. They sh should heal on their own and all that stuff. So, but I was just looking at Mason's schedule for the week. Not too bad. I think he only has two baseball games. So if you've been following along, one week he had five games. Last week he had four games. I believe this week he only has two games. A couple of basketball practices, um, like a leadership class at some point this week. Um, I'm not for sure about weight training, but I know he definitely, like today, he plans on getting in the garage and doing some weight training with Jack. So, not too bad. And our weather, I haven't watched the news yet, but I think is not supposed to be excessive heat like last week. So that's a plus. We're probably going to be around 108, 109. So that's lovely. Um, but yeah, it's Monday, ready to tackle this new week. But first, you guys know the drill coffee happy tuesday everyone so last week i said that ace has graduation from his e intermediate um puppy classes training classes and i wasn't going to take him because of his surgery last week but my trainer said that she thought that he would be okay um we would just take the cone off for his pictures and for graduation i think what we're going to do is going to go ahead and take him um mason's going to come along so he can help out but now I'm debating, do I take his? Cause you know, he's not really wearing this cone cause he figured that out, how to get to his stitches with that on. Um, so do I keep his underwear on and just take him off for like his picture? Or do I just keep an eye on him, take everything off and just keep an eye on him? Or do I try the, the cone, the blue cone again? I don't know. But he looks so handsome. He's got his new bow tie on. Look at him. You ready to graduate? You good boy? You ready? We just brushed him. Do you want to go to graduation? Huh? You want to go graduate? <laughs> All right. It's almost time to go. Just wait on Mason to come down. You want to say hi? Say hi, everyone. I get to graduate today. Being a good boy. Just waiting for your graduation. That's a good boy. Stay. Stay. Good boy. So handsome. Just waiting patiently for his turn. All done with Ace's graduation. Um, he did all right. He was a little bit of a ham, but she said it's because he just had surgery. Um, it takes about 14 days for your dog to get back to normal, um, which totally makes sense because Ace has been kind of a crazy dog lately. But he did good. We got his picture taken, got his certificate right here. So I think now we're gonna celebrate with a little bit of Starbucks. Ace, you want a puppuccino? Want a puppuccino? Huh? His head tilts. What's that? Puppuccino? 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 Ace, you want a puppuccino? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. There you go, buddy. Happy graduation. Mason got a pink drink. There it is. Green tea. Good job, buddy. Good job. Well, guys, I just cheated. I picked up Subway. I almost said Safeway. Subway. He smells that. Yeah. No, sir. Um, so Mason was supposed to have a double header tonight. So when I went to the grocery store over the weekend, I didn't plan anything for dinner. Um, his double header turned into a single game um, that starts at like seven tonight. So just picked up some subs. Figure he can eat like half now, half after your game. Cause I got you a foot long. Or eat the whole thing now. I don't know. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go get dressed and then the next few clips should be a baseball, hopefully, as long as it doesn't rain, you guys. Um, kind of looks like we have a chance of storms rolling in, but they're predicting more like tomorrow morning. But it's definitely getting cloudy out, which is kind of nice because it's bringing the temperature down, which I'll take. Yeah, it's only 100 degrees right now, you guys. That's amazing after 118.
Mitch. Good morning everyone happy Wednesday you guys I'm still waking up did you guys watch the Phoenix Suns game last night holy moly so I guess we're calling it the Valley Oop um, it was Crowder he inbound the ball and did a alley oop to Aiton that just went up and slammed the ball down it was crazy that's how we won within seconds of the game left it was amazing you guys I have to admit Jack and I, and pretty much all the other parents at Mason's baseball game last night, we all had our phones out. <laughs> kind of bad and kind of sad. But I kept looking up and looking at the baseball game, looking at my phone, but what a game. Congratulations to the Phoenix Suns. Next game is tomorrow on Thursday. Can't wait to watch that, but we are up 2-0. And I, it sounds like we're gonna have CP3 back because he's on COVID protocol right now, so we haven't had him the last two games. It sounds like he might be back for the third game. We will see tomorrow night. But you guys, it also is a little bit rainy out. So I'm going to take full advantage. Can you see it's kind of gloomy out? I'm going to take full advantage and take Mr. Ace on a short walk. As you guys know, he's still recovering from his stitches from his surgery. Because if you didn't know, like when it's raining, it's the best time to take your dogs out for walks. It's kind of like an enrichment for them. Because um, when it rains, all the smells. So I'm gonna let him go outside, sniff around, explore, cause he's kind of been cooped up for the past almost week since the surgery. So we're about ready to head out and have a little walk. Let's see, it's only 86 out. He's excited, look, he knows. Is that yours? Is that for you? We're we gonna go for a walk? Go for a walk? Well, I just took Mason over to his friend's house. I think that they're gonna hang out, you guys. It's a beautiful 80 degrees. I said, take advantage go hang out outside so that's what he's doing he can only do it for a few hours though because he has i think like two hours um he does have basketball practice today so but two hours and 80 degree weather get some filming done for the backyard bros but while i was dropping him off i got an email from ace's dog trainer and his graduation pictures are here and i was just going through them i'll show you guys super cute um like i said he was being a little bit of a turd but um, let's see if I can get it to focus. There's one. We were gonna try to do no leash, but like I said, he was being a turd. <laughs> see, his hat's all sideways there. So handsome. That's the one Mason really likes, and I like what it says up there. Super cute. So yeah, there's Ace's graduation pictures. Didn't go as we wanted it to. They actually turned out better than I thought. Um, speaking of the devil, he went with me to drop off Mason and I don't know what it is about car rides, but it tires him out. I think it's because his brain's just like constantly like looking at what's going on, cars, people, and all the things. So it always um, makes him tired. So that works for me. 
Maybe I can now continue to get some housework done. I need to really mop. I hate mopping, you guys. You know what, my steam mopper broke, and um, I really need a new steam mop. That would make my life so much easier. Because the one I had, vacuum and mop at the, at the same time, and now that we have a dog, I'm like, I ended up getting a swifter, wet thing. I'm not in love with it. I think I just need to spend the money and get myself a new mop. Because of this guy. The floors are constantly dirty. It's got Mason back from his friends. Did you have fun? Enjoy the weather? Mm -hmm. Although he said, Mom, it's humid out. <laughs> That's the one thing us Arizonans do not have to deal with is the humidity. It's a dry heat here, so that's how we tolerate 118 degrees because it's definitely a dry heat. But a package just arrived. You know, it was Prime Day the last couple days, so of course I had to do some shopping. Of course I had to do some shopping for the doggo. Um, I got him some conditioner called Lillian Ruff oatmeal conditioner um, just to keep him from itching because his trainer said that sometimes they just need a conditioner on their skin um, so we're gonna give that a try and oatmeal I know is good all right I also got him some balm for his paws because um, I've noticed lately he's been kind of yeah do you know that's for you that's for ace do you want me to put some on yes I think maybe because the sidewalks and everything and the rocks out back are so hot, um, his paws are getting really rough and kind of like cracked, which is making him kind of like chew on them and lick them more than normal. Hey, you're not supposed to be up there, but yes, that's for you. Get down. Um, so I'm gonna give that a try and hopefully that helps his paws out. My prime days were spent on this dude. I think I have one more thing coming to help with walks, um, that's supposed to come tomorrow or Friday, I think. And then you guys, I got a shirt, but I'm gonna make you wait to see the shirt. I think that's supposed to arrive over the weekend, so I'll show you that when that comes. But hey, have a good practice. Basketball practice, that's it today. And then he said that he might coach, hit, or coach, text his baseball coach to see if he can go hit in cages tonight if they will be open. So I will see you when you get back from basketball. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Somebody good afternoon. slept in. Somebody was up late last night, I think playing video games, and were you editing? Yeah, I was editing. You're editing, that editing grind? <laughs> yeah. Now you know what it's like? Um, he's working on a video for you guys, so stay patient, he's working on it. Um, they worked on it yesterday, worked on it all night last night. But it is Thursday, We're trying to get our day started. What do we got going on? He's got basketball practice, and then he'll be home for like maybe an hour, and then he has a baseball game tonight. Um, the rest of my Prime Day stuff came early, you guys. Just arrived. So nothing too exciting. Um, I use these when I walk Ace. There's this like leash trick, um, and it seems to help when I'm walking him. And also, told Mason, he's like, what, what, what shirt did you get, Mom? I was like, I got a dog mom shirt. No, I got a baseball mom shirt. What was I thinking? Here, do you want to open it? Hopefully it fits. Ordering on um, Amazon. Perfect. Oh, that Thank looks, you. it'll fit you. Perfect. <laughs> um, but that's what I was going for, a comfy shirt um, when I'm watching Mason play baseball. And I think this is probably going to work out perfect. All right, I think I'm off to the store. Are you going to watch the doggo? No. We have absolutely no food in the I'm house. The cage. What? You're gonna put him in? You, you can go to the grocery store. He is being a turd. You can go to the grocery store with me and get snacks. He's like, what's to eat? I'm like, ugh, that's why I gotta go to the store. There's absolutely no food in this house. Definitely need to go to the grocery store. Yeah. So I think that's where I'm headed now. I'm home from the grocery store. Of course I got treats for my human child, but I also got a treat for my hairy child. <laughs> hey, is that good? Do you like it? Was he good for you, Mason? Yep. Were you able to get your video up? Yep. And he slept the whole time? Yeah. High five, teamwork. <laughs> now he has about an hour, and then he's off to basketball practice. Mason's home from basketball. Um, I know this has been like a package video, but there's another package this one is for Mr. Ace Vivo. I believe it's from Roger. Roger sent, was that, that was this week that we opened it, right? The baseball card. So this he got for Ace. What is it? You're so excited. What is it? Oh, oh goodness. Is that for you, buddy? Is that for Ace? 
Thank you, Roger, for you Ace's excited? blanket. You excited? Hey, <laughs> I know he's gonna love it. Super cute. Little blankie to carry around. Big old blanket. There you go, buddy. Oh. Oh, yep, that's for you. Ready? Wear it? Like a blankie. Thank you, Roger. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. There you go. It's just blankets. So kind of you guys. Right. Whenever you guys send us stuff, watch your videos, Thank and you so. guys know we always appreciate it. Thank you so much. But Mason, like I said earlier, is only home for about an hour, so I'm gonna get him a quick little dinner. Um, when I was at the grocery store, I picked up these for the boys. Figure. <laughs> Big old sandwiches. Figure that's something kind of cold, refreshing for them before they go to baseball. I don't think I'm gonna go. We talked about me maybe going late. Um, it's an away game, so I'm gonna stay home with the dog. Plus you guys, the Phoenix Suns are on. So I might stay home to watch the Phoenix Suns. I don't know, we'll see. Or I'll just go late, I don't know. You got your blinky? You got your blinky on your bed? Yes, look at you. Your Mason got you all set up there. Oh. All right, dude. Hi. You need to eat and change. Good luck at baseball. Is that your foot or <laughs> That's so my. Have fun. Do your best. Thank you. Look at this poor kid. He's nonstop, you guys. He edited that video, so make sure you go watch his video for um, Backyard Bros. It's live right now, so. You guys can go watch his latest video. Like I said earlier, this is the package opening vlog. Um, Jack just informed me that there was actually another package to open. He was fixing our internet earlier during that last clip, but he busted out Attempting another. Attempting to fix it. Yeah, I think it's time for a new router or something, so I don't know, we'll figure that out. This one is for Mason, I believe. Yes, it's from and Ethan. It's from Ethan. And Ethan is? Ethan has sent Mason some really nice stuff yeah. in the past. So I know what's in it. Jack knows what's in it. Do you know? Mason does not. No. Okay. Sorry right about there. Just came home from basketball. Yeah, he just came home from basketball practice. Oh my. That is a big glove. Holy. <laughs> that is insane. What? Is that a glove? <laughs> What? It's like an outfitter's book, maybe? Yep. There you go. That's awesome. So Ethan emailed Jack and said that he has an outfielder's glove um, that he was breaking in and he thought that Mason could use it. As you guys know, he is playing a lot of summer ball right now and he is playing outfield quite a bit. At least last game, that's all he played was outfield. Um, so there you go, Mason. Thank you. That's awesome. That is awesome. Not really like a it's very pretty. Yeah, I like the it. color of it. Yeah, that's super nice. Even the Wilson logo is like gray right here. Yeah. Like, ooh, yeah. Dope. It's fancy. That is. Get to work, buddy. Twelve and three quarters. That's a gigantic glove. Wesley has like. <laughs> gigantic. Uh, whatever. Gigantic. I'm summer. It's summer. Please. He's tired. Right? I'm tired. I give him a hall pass. He's very tired. He has a giant glove like this because he yeah. plays outfield. Yeah, too, he does. So. If you're in the outfield, you definitely He's want a bigger outfield. glove like that. Yeah. Well, there you go. Now you have your own big outfield thank you. glove. That's all. Yes, Ethan. Thank you so much. Far too kind. Thank you so much. Hope all is well with you. Can't thank you enough. Yeah, we do. We really do appreciate it. Like I said, even just you guys watching our videos, that helps us a lot. So we appreciate it. But another question we get, Jack, maybe you can answer this one. How does Mason break in his gloves? Um, no, he's just got using them. Mallets. We play mm -hmm. catch a lot. Um, typically, like when I warm him up, I'll take a glove that's being broken in and I'll warm up with that. Or we'll take him out to practice. But we don't. I'm not big on uh, oils and all that other stuff, so I'm just kind of the own natural way. Play catch, beat it with a mallet, kind of the similar concept, so it's uh, you, you hear the mallet yeah. in our house a lot. Like, yeah, you still be upstairs do, do, with do, the mallet. Do, like, I think we actually have one downstairs and one upstairs, so that's why you always Thanks see- Thanks play crate. That's why you always see random gloves on all levels of our house, because yeah. we're always trying to break something in. Yep. So now Mason's got to put some work in on this glove too, but that is going to be awesome. Yeah. Those big it. gloves is the difference between a diving catch for an out and running to the fence to get a ball that you just missed. <laughs> yes, this is true. <laughs> so, so we'll see. He, like I cool. said, he has a baseball game tonight. I'm wondering if he'll be in the outfield or not. But this glove is not quite ready yet. We still need to break that in there. But thank you. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you. Another close up of it. A2000.
There you go. Are you impressed, Stace? <laughs> he uh, he played with his blanket from Roger. He was carrying around and you know going crazy with it. So I think now he needs a nap. You need a nap. You need a nap. Good eye. 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 Okay. Better hope if you have like somebody else. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye. Good afternoon. Actually, good evening, guys. It's Friday. It's 5 o'clock. Actually, 5.15 to be exact. Um, just picking up the camera, you guys. I got all of my chores done today. Literally cleaned everything down here. Uh, mopped all the things. Got some laundry done. So I fully enjoyed my weekend and not be worried about cleaning anything or getting caught up on laundry. So that feels good. Um, Jack? He's watching the Phillies. Phillies are on, but he just went upstairs. I think Mason called him up. I think he's playing video games. And Mason also took a well-deserved day off. No, nothing on his schedule today for his Friday. So to be honest, you guys, he is still in what he slept in last night. He's in his pajamas. Um, he did absolutely nothing today. He played with the dog. He kind of hung out with me for a little bit, played video games. That's how our Friday went, nothing vloggable. But it is now dinner time. Dog is doing what the dog does. Yes, you guys, look. He has no underoos on. Look at you. In fact, they're sitting on my countertop right now. That's Ace's underwear. Um, his stitches seem to be healing pretty good, so I'm kind of just seeing how he does with them off. Um, he is now past seven days, so he can do normal activity everything's back to normal for him i think his stitches are good i i feel like they might still be in there i'm not really for sure if it's stitches or his hair starting to grow back too but he doesn't seem to be licking or messing with it so we'll probably put his underwear back on for nighttime along with his pajama suit his recovery suit but he's doing good so yay ace but anyways i'm blabbering i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog you guys know the drill. Don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.